How's it going ladies and bruces, I'm Bobby Sixkill and welcome back to Elite Dangerous Horizons. Now we are back from our Road to Riches trip. I ended up doing about 55 systems or so, as well as random scanning, just honking and other systems that we're not stopping at. We are going to sell that data now. I hung on to it so that I could sell it on camera so you know how much we were getting. So it was about 55 systems, something like that. Not a lot, but we'll see what we get. Okay, so our first page is worth 14 and a half million. I assume that's our uh, Explorer rank went up. Our second page is worth about 8 million. Oh sweet, we were even the first to discover a shitty planet that is shitty, apparently. Cool. And this page is worth 15,000, so we made about 22 million. Probably not the most cost efficient, time efficient methods of making money, but... Yeah, we got 35 million now. Now, this episode was going to be grinding Empire rank. I found a place that I was grinding Empire rank. But unfortunately, while I was doing it, one of the systems went into lockdown, so... We're not going to be doing that anymore. But as you can see here, already the Empire is at friendly, 38%. So we're way higher with them than we are with the Federation already. We're on three, uh, version 3.0 now, so that's pretty cool. A lot of the, like the new mission board things are fucking amazing. Getting to choose whatever you want. But we're here in first off orbital for a reason. Seeing we can't do that, we are going to go and we are going to buy our Vulture. And we're going to outfit it. And then we're going to go do some combat, hopefully. So we got enough money now. Everything we need should be here. I looked it up. It should be right. We're going to buy the vulture. And then we're going to outfit it. And it should leave us realistically with about 15 million left in the bank. Uh, 13 million, say, left in the bank afterwards. And that'll be good. And then we'll go try some actual combat combat. And we got uh, the other engineers unlocked now too. Well, I mean, we've traveled far enough away from our starting system to unlock it. But, uh... I don't know where we get the fucking stuff to actually... use it. We are going to be putting... uh... multi-cannons on this. Uh, we're going to put Gimbal 3C multi-cannons on. I think that should be fine. Like that. It's a shame it only has two hard points, but at least they're fucking huge. Huge hard points. Jesus, look at the size of that thing. That's insane. Holy crap. Uh, utility mounts, uh, I think we're going to have two shield boosters. I think it's two. We'll put one in for now. I'm not sure about our electricity, to be honest. We'll come back to that. Uh, we're going to put uh, military-grade composite armor on it. Obviously, we're going to have the biggest power plant, a 4A. Biggest we can fit. While I was trying to outfit this on that uh, Coriolis website, I noticed that electricity is a, uh, or power is a major problem for the ship. Just having enough power is a problem. I think I've set it up so that I have to disable the cargo hatch to have everything running. But other than that, we're good to go. I'm going to put the 4A frame shift drive on it. 
Uh, 3D life support. A 5A power distributor, obviously. A 4D sensors. And hopefully this should do us pretty well for, uh, you know, taking out NPCs. Taking out those random pirates that we come across and stuff. Optional internal is going to be almost exclusively... Are we going to change this for a biweave shield generator? For a 5C biweave. And then this is going to be armor, I believe. Hull reinforcement. 4D hull reinforcement package. And this, all the optional internals is pretty much going to be hull reinforcement packages. Pretty much. So I might need to check that out and make sure that's right. Military compartment I know is a 5E hull, uh, 5D hull reinforcement package. Jeez, I should have written it down. Should have written it down. Hang on a sec. I'll be right back. So this here is going to be a two-way fuel scoop, which is probably going to be pretty shit. Actually, I think I've got a two-way fuel scoop in storage. I'm not going to buy another one. I'm just going to bring that over while we work on this. Oh, it's going to take forever. That's okay. We don't need a fuel scoop. We're only going to be going inside the system anyway. This thing's not really built for going outside the system in the first place. Uh, 1D hull reinforcement package, and we're going to put a 1D module reinforcement package on it as well. I wonder how this thing actually handles. It's meant to have pretty good handling, I believe. Alright. So this scanner will be a fuel scope. Eventually, but not right now. We're going to go out. We're done with it now. we got 30 mil left over. That's not too bad. We are going to go out and we're going to do some combat and see how this thing performs now. Plus we'll be able to unlock uh, Todd the Blast and McQuinn soon as well. So that we can do some modifications to our multi-cannons. Should be pretty good. I've been looking at it and uh, looks like uh, incendiary rounds are definitely the pick. So that it shreds shields as well as armor. Promotion to Pathfinder? What's that in? In, uh... Exploring? Pathfinder? Ah, hey! That's good! I like it! Shit, our reputation with the Empire has gone up again. 59%. Is it because I spent loads of money at this station or something? But they like that. I'd like that if I was them. That makes sense to me. Alright, we're gonna go find somewhere we can combat. Uh, let's go with the... It's only a low extraction site, but... Guess we should practice with this thing before we like commit ourselves to something. Holy fuck, this thing turns fast. Before we commit ourselves to something that might get us killed. Holy crap, it is. I think it's going to be quite maneuverable compared to everything I've driven so far. It feels really nice to drive. Wow. Jesus, it's fast too. Picks that speed up like fucking nobody's business. And we're just gonna drop in here and shoot whatever we see. Not not anything we see. Anything wanted. I saw there was an amnesty when they switched over to the new patch for for anyone that had a bounty. Would have been a good time to go out and go mental, but I don't really have anything to go mental with. <laughs> Yeah, we need to go out in the next episode probably I imagine we'll go out and we'll try and find the uh, materials we need to get into these engineers hopefully we'll get enough done here to get to Todd the Blast and McQuinn then we'll have three so we have the two frame shift drive people plus Todd the Blast and McQuinn hopefully we can find the stuff we need to get into them in the next episode and try and do some upgrading hopefully that'd be nice also the new uh the new system for storing everything, for materials and stuff, is really good. 
Lots more storage. Rather than storing like, I think it was like a thousand of everything combined. Now it's like a hundred, hundred each or a hundred fifty each. Oh, it depends on the thing, but yeah, it's really good. Really good, can't complain. Oh, I didn't check to see if I needed another shield booster on this. Probably could have fitted another shield booster on it. Oh well. We'll check that when we get back when we put the fuel scoop on. We're already going to a low grade fucking extraction site, I'm sure we'll be fine. Now we just gotta find somebody to kill. Okay. Well, there doesn't appear to be much around at this stage. Wow, this thing is crazy good to handle. Holy shit. I don't think any of them would handle like this. This is crazy. And wing. I really want to deal with that. You're part of that wing, I assume. Are you guarding that guy while he fucking mines? He's got no shields. Alright, what else we got? Anything? Not you. Well, I'll cut until I find something worth, uh, killing. You're the eagle again. If I find anything to kill, I'll bring you back. Hello, what do we got over here? We got one. Let's do it. Waste him. Fucking hell, this thing is nasty. He's dead. He's super dead. <laughs> oh, here we go. This one must be the pirate. Oh, he's dead. He's super dead as well. Alright, we're in the conflict zone. Let's see what we can kill here. Who am I meant to be killing? Does it matter? Do you just kill whoever? I don't understand. What is the point? I don't care anymore. You die. You gotta play chicken. Let's do it. God damn, I can't hurt this thing at all. I can definitely outmaneuver it. Shit. Alright, we're out.
Alright, we're gonna head out and see if we can find somewhere else. That would be good for the killing. We'll try and make our jumps with the uh, vulture. See how far we get. No guarantees it's gonna go well, but... This thing handles beautifully, man. It is beautiful. Turns on a dime in that blue zone, holy balls. Amazing. Scan away, my friend. Scan away. Should have my guns out just in case. Otherwise I'll end up missing out because someone else will kill him. We got something over here. The Viper Mark IV. That'd be an interesting fight if he was. Oh. He got away. Oh, a python. Jeez, we never take on a python. Diamondback Explorer. Wanted. It's okay, just make sure the cargo hatch is off. See, they're trying to kill him before I get a chance. You're gonna die, asshole! Oh, you're already dead. Never mind. Hey, that was a pretty good payout. I mean, compared to what I'm used to. I mean, I, I've never had a really good payout with bounty hunting. Everyone always says it's the greatest way to make money in this game. And while it might be fun, it doesn't seem to pay out very well for me. To be honest. Oh, he's already dead. Asshole. And that was the Viper too. Numbnuts. Type 6, you're fine. Alright, I don't see anything left at the moment. Let's keep scouring the place. Python. Don't think I could take a python either. Oh my god, we're gonna have to try. Here we go. Really? Already? He's a python for fuck's sakes. Isn't that like the most, one of the most powerful fucking combat ships out there? Scan detected. Well we won. What's this? Galvanizing alloys. Can I have that? Who are you? I kill you. Here we go. It's a keel bag. I know it's a combat focused transport ship, but it's still a transport ship. I don't know. I don't like your chances. Dude, you're pretty fast though. Considering. Let rip. Never fought a keelback before. Well, I never fought a python before either, and that went alright. Alright, this thing's shields are nearly down. He 
He's not fighting back. I thought these keelbacks were combat focused. To an extent. Oh, he's got missiles. You never outmaneuver me though. Not gonna happen. You're dead. Man, this ship is a fucking beast! <laughs> oh, I love it. This ship's so good. It's ridiculous. I love it. I'm all over this shit. Anything here I want? Not that I could probably get the cargo hatch working if I did want it, but... At least we're finding some shit to kill out here. This is good. This is a good time. I'm having a great time. Who else? Who else wants some of this? None of you guys. An adder. Where's that? Oh, I got you. Our shields are kind of low, though. Take that, you fuck. Wonder if this thing can maneuver as well as I can. It probably can. It's quite little. Oh, you are fucked, son. Salvaged alloys. Okie dokie. This is fun. I'm enjoying this. Alright, we got someone over here. Bogus Law Linda. Because Law is bogus. I agree. Look, I have no love for the lore either. I'm just here for fucking bounty money. Alright, he's turning around. I like the placement on the, um... Of the hard points on this thing, too. It's pretty fucking great. You're done. Fuck, I love multi cannons as well. Multi cannons are the fucking bee's knees. I imagine they'll run out of ammo eventually and I have to go back and restock. But until that happens, I'm enjoying this. A sidewinder. Dude, you better not be fucking wanted. You are. Oh, you're gone? You cheeky fuck. You got lucky, man. I was about to open fire on you. Cheeky bastard. It's just me and that Imperial Clipper. That Imperial Clipper. He's not going anywhere. He loves it here. He likes it here like I like it here, apparently. Alright, so I think we're going to go head home. We'll head home. Can't really find anything else here at the moment. Oh, we head home, turn it in. And when we do... Oh. When we do, we should have enough, uh... Enough bounties to unlock Todd the Blaster McQuinn, and then we'll see if we can... Might do some Google searching, see if I can find out where I get these materials for the next one, and then we'll go hunting that in the next... Okay, I'm gonna kill this eagle first. And then we'll go hunting for that in the next one. So that'll be a good time. I think. I think that'll be a good time. Let's waste him. Whoa! Whoa! Fucking hell! You move so quickly! You also die so quickly, but you move very quickly. That was impressive, man. Alright, we're gonna head back. Turn these in, hopefully get Todd the Blaster McQuinn's approval. I'll do some Google searching to see if I can find how I get meta alloys and something or other relics and whatever the fuck Todd the Blaster McQuinn needs. We'll probably have to jump back into the hauler because we'll be going long distance I imagine and we will 
hunt some of that shit down in the next episode. But I'll, I'll keep you here for now, because we'll, uh, we'll go turn these in and hopefully we'll get a message from Todd the Blossom McQuinn and we can actually have a look at what we're going to need before I wrap the episode up. That'll give me another thing that I can look up in between episodes. This is fun. I'm loving this. This feels like my first proper ship. Like, this thing is fucking bad ass. Bad ass. This thing's a fucking beast. It's, it's like, effective at what it does, and it's nice looking. And it's pretty expensive, too. Like, comparative to all the other ships I've bought so far. Even the Type 6, which feels like a proper ship, too, to be fair. Feels like a really, really good option as far as haulers go. Because... I don't know, the Type 7 being a large ship, can't lie, land at the orbital stations and stuff. I don't know, I feel like the Type 6 is just a really, really good choice. Even though it's cheap. But I don't think there's a better haulage ship that's in the medium or small class that I can think of. But yeah, I think basically Type 6 and the Vulture so far are my only ships that are uh, my go-to I mean, the haulers are my go-to ship for exploring at the moment. But that's because I'm saving up for a Diamondback Explorer, and then that'll pretty much make the hauler redundant. Then I was thinking we might get a Dolphin. At some stage as well, they're quite cheap as well. Just so that we can t Because it's got long jump, even compared to the Type 6. Which, funnily enough, has the longest jump of any ship that I own so far. The Type 6 has a longer jump than the hauler. It's tw over 25 light year jump. So the Type 6 is my best exploring vessel, for some reason. But I do like the hauler, because it's nice nice and light on the fuel. Actually, this thing seems quite light on the fuel, too. I've done a couple of jumps in it, and it... It has not uh, used up very much fuel at all. Now, maybe not quite as um, conservative as the hauler, but way more conservative than the Type 6. But yeah, so once we get the Diamondback Explorer, we'll have the Diamondback Explorer for exploring, we'll have this for combat, and we'll have um, the Type 6 for cargo and passengers, and if we get a Dolphin, then the Type 6 will just do cargo, and the Dolphin will do just passengers. I think it'll be a good time. And the Dolphin's a pretty ship, I must admit, it's nice looking. It's a nice looking ship. I like this one though, this one looks, I, I prefer my ships to look aggressive, you know? And the, um, the Type 6, uh, the Dolphin does not look aggressive at all. But this thing, this thing looks aggressive as fuck. It's all jagged and nasty looking. Is this a small class ship? The Vulture? I don't even know. I assume it is. It must be one of the most expensive small class ships in the game then. Well, the Diamondback's a small class ship as well, I believe. Diamondback Explorer. Also, I put a... Okay, okay. What are we going to? 34. Oh, over there. Right at the back, like the cool kids. Um, also, I put a uh, docking computer on the Type 6. Because I was going back and forth, back and forth, grinding the Federation, ah, not Federation, Empire missions to get their rank up, I got pretty lazy. And pretty bored just docking and docking and docking, because the it wasn't even a long distance. It was like a four light year jump between the two systems, and it was like a thousand light seconds from the start of one... Uh, to one uh, station, and like 700 to the other. So it wasn't even like long travel times, it was just lots of docking. So in the end, I just put a docking computer on it. It's actually quite good. Quite good. I mean, the Type 6 is easy to dock as it is, but eh. Then I could go and do other shit. You know, I could go around, fuck around, do other things while it docks itself. You know, Google stuff on my phone or figure out where I'm going next. That sort of thing, you know. You know quite good. Alright, we're going to redeem all our bounty vouchers. Did that unlock Todd? Might take a moment. Let's check. 
engineers. Doesn't look like it though, it does take a while sometimes. It says we only got 13. Huh. I guess we have to go out and get some more. I'll do that between episodes and then in the next one we will go out and we will try to find what we need to get these guys working for us. Until then, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me and I'll see you in the next one.